Hello, how are we today? Lori from Art Lore, thanks for joining me on my channel today. Today, I am only doing two colors. I thought it might be kind of fun just to have something super soft, um, very airy. It's going to be a single bloom, uh, no negative space. And if I get negative space, that's fine, but that's not my goal. I just kind of want um, the single bloom all over the whole entire canvas. But I have two colors and I do have a white, but, um, and I added a scant of one of the colors into the white to uh, tone the white down so that it doesn't look exactly like my pillow in case I hit the pillow. So uh, we are going to be doing uh, 18 by 24 gallery wrap canvas. I have my pillow down already and it's the Multi-Pro Interior Eggshell uh, PPG Multi-Pro. And yeah, we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna make a mess. We'll see how just two colors, I'll probably layer them a couple of times uh, to, you know, to make sure that there's enough color going on in the, uh, in the design. And so I think it'll be kind of fun just to see what two colors gives us. So let me get you down and we're going to start blooming. Okay. So I lied about the canvas. I went to go get my 18 by 24 and it didn't have any. But I actually did, after I poured this, I went upstairs and uh, they were in my hallway. So anyway, this is a 20 by 20 and it'll be just as pretty. So we are going to start first with sky, uh, light blue and this is Artist Loft. And it is a scant thick. So we're just going to do a little tiny loop of doodles of water. Thin this puppy out and I want to see some blue. So I'm going to be layering uh, this a couple times for sure and that's better. Okay so let's go right here and put a fair amount Next up is Cos Earth Shimmer. This is such a gorgeous color. And um, it's like a, oh my gosh, it's, it's not chocolate, it's not a brown. I mean, it is kind of a brown, but it's not like a super deep brown. Um, but the striations of shimmer that it has going on once it's in the uh, once it's in the bloom or whatever you're doing, it it almost has like a gold uh, iridescent tone to it, and oh my gosh, it is just beautiful. Now I deepened it up just a teeny weeny little bit, and I added in some um, artist loft. No 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 no. I lied. Uh, Liquid tax burnt umber. I added that in there. Can you see, can you see that shimmer? I don't know if you can see that or not, um, but it is just so pretty. Oh my gosh, so, so pretty. Let's just do a little bit more for fun. Okay, now let's see here. I want to do blue and then I have a white because I want the white to have a little bit of light blue running through there a little bit. And then what I did to tone it down and warm it up a little to make it different than my pillow was I added some of the Cos Shimmer to it. The Cos Earth, I should say. And um, that uh, warmed it up really pretty. Um, we've got a couple more bubbles here, like a thousand. Uh, once again, I'm not a patient person. And, you know, sometimes time is just not on your side. You know, there are times where I, I, I have plenty of time to paint, but then my brain kicks in and it's like, um, you have laundry to do and you have house cleaning to do. You need to get your bunnies upstairs. So, um, yeah, I'm on a time frame today, but it's all good. Okay, there we go. 
All right, now, uh, Aussie Flow, Oxide Black, and I did two to one for fun, just to uh, give this a little bit different um, feel. I like it just a scant th thicker. So, um, yeah, we're gonna do High Fan Cool Air. Let's see here. I'm gonna try really hard not to go beyond that. Um, let me do this. I'm just going to bring that out just a teeny bit because it's just a little bit closer to the center than I want. Okay, here we go. Hi, fan, cool air. A little more. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Oop. All righty. Okay, I'm seeing my blue, so I'm very excited about that. Cells are phenomenal. Uh, the Cause um, Earth Shimmer is just fantabulous. Um, I can even see some of the white uh, corresponding in there. So I need to be patient. Do not touch it. Leave it alone. So we're going to let that all fill in by itself. And if I don't like it, then I'm going to just take some of that cell activator out of there. Um, I just, I wanna give it a couple of minutes or so. And if I have to encourage it, I will, but I need to be patient to see if it actually sets up on its own. So we'll be right back. All right, so patience is the virtue here. It's set up quite nicely. Um, let's spin. Um, I just want to see if you're in frame because I pulled, oh, you weren't in focus though. So I'm glad I looked at that. Um, okay. So we're going to do this very gently. I need to get my little guard here though, just in case, because it's very close to the edge of my table and I don't know why, but whatever. All right, we're going to do this again, slowly. Um, I think what I want to do though, is because I have so much coming off on this end, I'm going to borrow some of that for over here. And I will do the 
same for there as well as over here. No need to add more when you can grab it from where you're losing it first. There. That will help for my corners. Okay, let's do this again. I'm loving that blue with this um, Cos Earth. The uh, shimmer is just incredible. It's not a brown, like I said, um, I've said that before, I've used it before, and it's not quite a brown. So I think with um, adding the burnt umber, it helped to give it a little bit more depth. Um, you know, I'm kind of liking the negative space. I don't know, let's try this again and see what happens. Um, not real crazy about some of the edges of the, the petals. So I don't know, um, I didn't plan on no negatives, or I didn't plan on negative space, so I didn't round out the petals because I don't like that right there. I don't care for that. So we'll see. Um, It is really, really pretty though. Um, yeah, I'm looking, pondering, looking, because I don't like that at all. Um, if I could, but see, this is really cool. Um, let's see here, I don't care for this either that and there. Um, Dag nab it all. If this was not there, now I'm going to have to spin again because I'll bet you anything it's pretty deep in the center. Actually, it's not too bad, but I am going to spin it again. Only because I just like being safe don't like cracking. You just never know where there's like too much paint sitting. So definitely better be safe than sorry. I would rather lose a little movement on the design of the bloom than to have the whole thing crack. That would be so disappointing. This still has to come off. And we are working our way there. Let's see how much further we have to go. Wow, is that pretty. I may end up having a little bit of negative space here and there. So that might be kind of fun if we can just get a little bit more of this off. Actually, I'm wondering if I could just take part of that away. We'll see, we'll see. Let's try it again. One more time and then we'll, we'll give it a check because I don't really like this either up in there. That doesn't, that's not pretty. Um, okay, we're going to do this a little bit harder, a little bit harder spin, pull that paint off because it's stretched out enough where it's not going to pull it too quickly from the center. And that is coming off. I don't know if I have room to pull it toward me. This is coming. Almost there. Yes, that's almost there. Really, really pretty. Um, I still, I still want that off. But see, this is so cool. Um, let's do it again because maybe I can blow some of that out. Um, let's just see. All right, 
cute. Now let's see if we can get that to go over the edge. So far I haven't splattered too much. We're almost good with that one and I might be able to scrape it and just add some white paint and then give it a quick spin so that it's all flowing evenly. I still see paint coming off the sides. This is really cool. I hope I can stop. This is not bad. Um, let me look at that. Yeah, I don't care for that. So I'm gonna scrape that off. Um, I think I'll use this. And we're just going to give that a little scrape and then clean off my spoon. And let's see here. I've got enough white paint right there. And let's see if I can find some more. Right from the edge here. Just add a little bit more. Let it just travel down. There. One more little tiny spin because I don't want to lose too much of that. A couple more little spinnies. There, done. Where did it go? Uh, right there. So that's looking pretty good. And it's dripping down the side nicely. Gravity will pull that down. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. And this is just with two colors. Oh my goodness me. I just love it. Really, really pretty. Such beautiful fluidity. Uh, the cause uh, Earth did its thing. The blue did its thing. They combined together quite well. Got a little negative space there and here and here, which I love the three, not the two. Um, this is really cool. So yes, we are golden. So let me take you down and I will show you the what results. All right. Can you see that shimmer from the cause earth? Look at how beautiful that is. I just love that color. And this center is just glorious. I'm like super stoked. It's really, really pretty. Um, the blue came through. This is so pretty through here. Very soft. That's from blowing out some of the cells on the low speed. Yes, this really took... Uh, was in my brain and this is exactly what I was looking for. And that does not happen very often. And this is my favorite corner right there. I just love that. It's so, so pretty. Yes, very, very pretty. Very happy with it. So thanks again, guys, for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And don't forget to click that bell. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Would love to hear what you have to say. And until next time, you guys all have a great day. Bye.